with more than 35 nations, 30,000 people, and a million components working together, we share one simple goal, to illuminate the way to new energy. The Principality of Monaco, just a two-hour drive from the Eater worksite, has committed since 2008 to fund the appointment of young scientists from around the world to perform their own postdoctoral research at Eater. Having recently earned their PhDs, each of the Monaco Fellows bring invigorating insights to the Eater endeavor, and with just one month left before the next Monaco Fellowship application is due, we need your help recruiting the next cohort to join us at the world's largest scientific collaboration here in the south of France. On 12th of January 2010, His Serene Highness Albert de Monaco donated 5.5 million euros over the next 10 years to support five young scientists every two years. I would like to congratulate each and every one of you, of all nationalities, who contribute to this exceptional scientific and human adventure. Thank you very much. Originally, we had no way of attracting uh, promising young scientists, and uh, so we were very fortunate that uh, the Prince of Monaco felt that this nice project in his backyard was worthy of investing in. Because of the wide range of applicants that we can have, it's very, very competitive. So whoever we end up getting is always a top quality person pushing the, uh, the goal of fusion for mankind uh, forward. So this group is no exception. Well, as you may know, in, in the core of the ITER machine, there is this very hot gas that is the, it's called the, the plasma. And the goal of the science division is to understand the behavior of this plasma. And for that, we do very large scale simulations. So me, I focus on a particular plasma instability, which means that the plasma moves. And in this case, the plasma moves vertically up to the wall. For doing this, we use uh, supercomputers. So this simulation, for example, is one plasma of NSTX, which is a, um, a tokamak in, in the US. And we do this type of simulations with other machines because we need to predict what ITER will do in, in the future. The inside of ITER is comprised of plasma-facing components. And the purpose of those uh, components is to be able to absorb and conduct away all of the energy that's produced during fusion operations. Don't get me wrong, the first wall doesn't have to uh, handle these extreme loads all by itself. ITER is going to have a disruption mitigation system that is capable of detecting um, these abnormal events early on before the plasma ever comes in contact with the wall. But as uh, responsible engineers and physicists, we um, have to know um, exactly what the consequences are if the disruption mitigation system misses, say, you know, 1% or less of these disruptions. Do you end up getting uh, local melting on your surface? And is there any melt motion from all the forces going on inside the machine? Plasma actually inevitably touches the surface, and among the surfaces, the so-called diverter, the plasma can directly strike the diverter structure, so sometimes it can melt diverter structure. So to make diverter structures to be sustainable, we need to cool down the boundary plasmas enough before it touches the diverter, diverter structures. So I'm doing the plasma simulation, which deals with the plasma as a fluid, and it requires a lot of computational powers. That's why I'm using supercomputer in ITER. My work is related to the pellet injection in ETA plasma. Pellet is a hydrogen ice shown here. By injecting this pellet, high heat flux is mitigated. But the, the problem is the plasma transport after pellet injection is not yet clearly understood. This kind of particle simulation track the particle motion by solving the uh, equations of for each particle. Here at ITER, I'm uh, working on the diagnostics, uh, basically, which are things which can measure plasma parameters, like the current, temperature, density, these kind of things. One of the ways is to use a camera because uh, we have like temperature which are uh, like still millions of degrees centigrade so we can't directly put something into the plasma so we have to use like light or laser and the ultimate aim is that you use all these measurements to finally control the plasma also but you know there is a plasma <laughs> so we have people from material science from engineering they bring new perspectives fresh ideas and uh, 
new motivation that also helps us to move forward. I'm enjoying a lot this work because I'm in contact with, uh, with the fusion community and meeting many experts, so I'm learning a lot. This is uh, cutting edge uh, research. It's been, it's been really nice uh, moving here and starting work at Eater as a part of a group. Really, our group of Monaco Fellows has um, done a fantastic job of just, you know, getting to know one another and finding things to do and hang out uh, you know, on the weekends outside of work. It's great, it's great because normally in this kind of international environment people tend as well to, to get with the people from their own countries and gather and in our case we succeeded. Sometimes we are very different. We have managed to be the friends, so come out always together to eggs and we have a lot of fun. I mean, I feel the ITA Morocco postdoc is a very great opportunity for young researchers that you can contribute to like one of the most important projects going on right now in the field of fusion. And uh, even if you are not that old or senior, but you still get the opportunity to work with people and uh, give your small contribution to that project. <laughs> Hello! Hi! Oh, we should do our welcome thing again. Yokoso! Konnichiwa! Bonjour et bienvenue! Welcome to the Eater Now, the end of the video. Uh, thank you Yay. for watching. Uh, we're going to answer some of your questions now. So it's been really great uh, getting some of your questions mm -hmm. on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, I received so many questions from you and this is so great. Thanks for participating. Um, Aditya says, it's great to hear about your outreach program. Thanks oh, for thank liking Eater Now. How can individuals apply to make an appointment or a visit to Eater? Great question. Mm -hmm. It's eater.org slash visiting. Yep. And you can just sign up right there and join a group or bring your own group. Mm -hmm. They take groups of 10 or more. Yeah, and visits are free. So totally everyone free. can join. Mm -hmm. One more question from someone named Yuri. Is there a way for us commons to help you? Well, definitely. <laughs> don't don't consider yourself commons. We're all common people here. We're right. all normal yeah. people here just doing something that mm -hmm. seems grand. But I mean, my favorite answer is just keep watching Eater now and share it and uh, be an ambassador for fusion and help yeah. people think this is right. cool. And, and share our Instagram posts and Twitter, retweet Twitters and yeah. And come visit. And Tom, it, yeah. thank you for being a fan. Everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, keep sending us more questions. We'll try to answer them as best we can from now on. Au revoir. Sayonara. <laughs> See you next time on Eater Now. Bye.